Thanks very much, uh, Kim Corla. The reason we're describing this as an exercise in cynicism is because there was actually a legitimate debate in this House a couple of weeks ago about when you should have the budget and about the size of the budget package. And the government responded, and the government moved forward the date of the budget, and the government will now deliver a budget package bigger than previously planned. But instead of actually allowing government now knuckle down and get on with that job, the Sinn Féin motion that they tabled here would actually result in the dissolution of the doll, the hanging up of the posters, and a paralysis in Irish politics for the weeks and months ahead. It would actually result in a delay it would actually result in a delay in delivering the help to the hardworking families at a time when you rightly highlight they so need it. In many ways, it is a mini version of the very difficult situation in Northern Ireland that you rightly castigate. You want to actually plunge this jurisdiction into paralysis, just like Northern Ireland now sees paralysis as well. Unfortunately, it's more sinister than that, because my colleague, Minister Dunahu, rightly outlined, we hear very eloquent speeches, very eloquent speeches that prey on the legitimate fears and concerns of people that offer beautiful sound bites, great articulation, but don't offer solutions. And the people don't need that. What the people actually need now is a government that is going to get on in the face of massive global challenges, with progressing an agenda in this country that will deliver for them, their families and their futures. And that's what we're doing. And we're doing it in the new Department of Further and Higher Education, where we've seen massive increases coming in student grants, where we're seeing changes to adjacency rates, where we're seeing income thresholds, where we're seeing five technological universities now bringing higher education into the regions, not just the cities. We're launching our apprenticeship action plan, delivering record numbers of apprentices to build the homes, to retrofit uh, our buildings. And we're determined to reduce the cost of education. And you criticise the cost of education here, but just a fact you don't talk about very much is you charge students in Northern Ireland over €2,000 more than we do here just to go to college every year. Shame on you. We're reforming the CAO process. We're giving out free laptops to over 17,000 students. We've introduced funding streams to help autistic students get into college, to have passports pathways and programmes for students with intellectual disabilities. We've abolished the post-leaving cert fees. We're delivering 200 more medicine places over the next five years, new pathways and structures for our PhD students. This is what we're doing to try and make a real and tangible difference in an important area of people's lives in the education system of our country. And all of this is happening at a time when you're offering division when you're offering a menu of empty rhetoric, of stagnation, and a proactive policy of paralysis in this country. Of course you have a right to table this motion, but that doesn't mean tabling your motion is the right thing to do. And shortly, the people's representatives in this House, a very significant majority of them, will give you your answer.